Now let's take a look at how we can use ARIA to make our web pages more accessible. Using accessible names for interactive elements with ARIA is important because it helps to ensure that web page content is accessible to individuals with disabilities, particularly those who use assistive technologies. Here are three examples of why you should use accessible names with ARIA. The first is screen reader compatibility. Screen readers are commonly used by individuals with visual impairments to navigate and interact with web content. When interactive elements are properly labeled with accessible names, screen readers can announce the element's purpose or function to the user. This allows users to understand the purpose of the element and interact with it effectively. If you have a button that triggers a search function on your website, providing an accessible name like search or search button using ARIA ensures that screen reader users understand the purpose of the button when it is announced to them. Some users rely on keyboard navigation to interact with web content due to motor disabilities or other reasons. Accessible names help these users to understand the functionality of interactive elements and navigate through them efficiently using keyboard commands. ARIA attributes like ARIA label or ARIA labeled by can be used to provide descriptive names for interactive elements. If you have a form field for entering an email address, using an accessible name like email address using ARIA allows keyboard users to understand that the field is meant for entering an email address when they navigate to it. Accessible names can provide additional context or instructions to users, improving the overall user experience. Users with cognitive disabilities or learning difficulties may benefit from clear and descriptive accessible names that guide them through the interface. If you have a drop-down menu with different font sizes, using an accessible name like font size selector using ARIA helps users to understand the purpose of the drop-down and its available options, providing them with a clear choice. By using accessible names for interactive elements with ARIA, you ensure that your website or web application is more inclusive and usable for a wider range of users including those with disabilities. To use accessible names for interactive elements using ARIA, you can utilize ARIA attributes and techniques to provide descriptive and meaningful names. Here are some ARIA attributes that you can use. ARIA Label. This attribute allows you to provide a concise and descriptive label directly on the element itself. It is useful when the interactive element does not have visible text or when the visible text is not descriptive enough. In this example, the ARIA label attribute provides an accessible name, search in this case, for the button, ensuring that screen readers announce it properly. The ARIA labeled by attribute allows you to associate an element with one or more other elements that serve as labels. You can specify the IDs of the labeling elements and their combined text content will be used as the accessible name for an interactive element. In this example, the ARIA labeled by attribute on the input element associates it with the label element using the ID of the label. When a screen reader accounts the input field, it will announce the accessible name such as search. The ARIA described by attribute allows you to provide additional descriptive text or instructions to support the accessible name of the interactive element. This is particularly useful for providing contextual information or explaining the purpose or functionality of the element. In this example, the ARIA described by attribute on the button refers to the paragraph element that provides a description. When the button is focused or activated, assistive technologies can announce the accessible name, search, along with the additional descriptive text. By using these ARIA attributes appropriately, you can ensure that interactive elements have meaningful, accessible names, making your web content more accessible to individuals using assistive technologies. 
Remember to choose names that accurately represent the purpose and functionality of the element for a better user experience. An ARIA state or property refers to the attributes provided by the accessible rich internet application specification to convey additional information about the state, properties, or behavior of an element to assistive technologies. These attributes help make web content more accessible to individuals with disabilities by providing information that may not be apparent from the visual presentation alone. ARIA states and properties can be applied to various HTML elements. Here's a few examples of ARIA states and properties. The ARIA expanded state indicates whether a collapsed element, such as an accordion or tree view, is expanded or collapsed. It helps screen readers and other assistive technologies understand and announce the current state of the element. The ARIA selected by state is used to indicate the selection status of an element, such as a tab or list item in a set of options. It allows assistive technologies to identify the currently selected item and convey that information to the user. The ARIA disabled state is used to indicate that an element is currently disabled and cannot be interacted with. It informs assistive technologies and users that the element is not available for interaction. ARIA hidden property is used to indicate that an element or a portion of the content is visually hidden, but still accessible to assistive technologies. It allows developers to hide elements from the visual display while still making them available to screen readers. These are just a few examples of the many ARIA states and properties available. By using these attributes appropriately, developers can enhance the accessibility of web content by conveying important information about the state, behavior, and properties of interactive elements to assistive technologies. The difference between ARIA states and properties lies in their purpose and how they provide information about the elements to assistive technologies. ARIA states describe the current condition or status of an element. They indicate whether an element is in a particular state at a given time. States are typically dynamic and can change as user interactions or application behavior occur. ARIA states are used to provide information that is not readily available from the element's markup or visual presentation alone. Examples of ARIA states include ARIA expanded, ARIA selected, ARIA checked, ARIA disabled, ARIA hidden, and ARIA invalid. ARIA properties, on the other hand, describe the static characteristics or attributes of an element that remain constant. They convey information that is not implied by the element's natural semantics. ARIA properties define characteristics that do not change based on user interactions or application behavior. Examples of ARIA properties include ARIA label, ARIA labeled by, ARIA described by, ARIA owns, ARIA posts inset, and ARIA set size. In summary, ARIA states represent the dynamic and changing aspects of an element, indicating its current state or condition. They can reflect user interactions or application behavior. ARIA properties, on the other hand, describe static characteristics or attributes that remain constant and provide additional information beyond the element's natural semantics. Both ARIA states and properties are crucial for enhancing accessibility by conveying important information to assistive technologies. This allows users with disabilities to perceive and interact with web content more effectively. Here are some examples of both ARIA states and ARIA properties. In the first ARIA state example, the ARIA expanded state is set to true to indicate that the associated content is currently expanded or visible. In the next example, the ARIA selected state is set to true to indicate that the tab is currently selected. In the ARIA disabled state, it is also set to true. This indicates that the button is currently disabled and cannot be interacted with. In regard to area properties, when we use the area label property, 
it is used to provide an accessible label for the checkbox describing its purpose as accepting terms and conditions. In the ARIA labeled by example, the property is used to associate the button with the label provided by the span element, giving it a more descriptive and accessible name. The ARIA described by property is used to associate the input element with the description provided by the div element, conveying additional instructions to the user. These examples demonstrate the usage of ARIA states and properties to enhance accessibility by providing dynamic information about an element's state or static information about its characteristics. Remember to choose and apply these attributes appropriately based on the specific context and requirements of your web content. An ARIA role is an attribute provided by the Accessible Rich Internet Application Specification that defines the type or purpose of an element. It helps assistive technologies understand the intended meaning and behavior of an element in a web page or application. ARIA roles provide semantic information that may not be conveyed by the HTML structure alone, improving accessibility for individuals with disabilities. Here are a few key points about ARIA roles. ARIA roles describe the intended role or function of an element, allowing assistive technologies to interpret and interact with it correctly. Roles can indicate whether an element is a button, menu, dialog, list, tab, landmark, and much more. ARIA roles should be used to supplement, not replace, the inherent semantics of HTML elements but they are particularly useful when there is a need to convey additional meaning beyond what the native HTML element provides. ARIA roles can be assigned using the role attribute, which takes a predefined role value. The value should accurately represent the nature and behavior of the element. Some common ARIA roles include button, link, menu, list box, tab, dialog, alert, combo box, checkbox, radio, progress bar, search box, and application. These roles help convey the purpose and expected behavior of the corresponding elements to assistive technologies. ARIA roles also include landmark roles that define structural regions or sections of a web page. This aids in navigation and orientation for users of assistive technologies. Examples of landmark roles include banner, navigation, main, complementary, content info, and region. In this example, the nav element has the ARIA role of menu, and the individual anchor elements inside it have the role of menu item. This indicates that the navigation is structured as a menu with each link representing a menu item. In this example, a set of tabs is represented using button elements. The parent div has an ARIA role of tab list, indicating that it contains a list of tabs. Each button inside it has the role of tab, and the ARIA selected attribute is used to indicate the currently selected tab. In this example, the header element has the landmark role of banner to represent the website's banner or header section. The main element has the role of main to indicate the main content area, and the footer element has the role of content info to represent the footer section. Remember to choose ARIA roles that accurately represent the intended purpose and behavior of the elements in your specific web content or application. ARIA roles should be used judiciously and in conjunction with appropriate HTML semantics to provide clear and accessible experience for all users.